Hi, welcome to my channel. This is an exciting occasion for me. This is the first pistol on my channel, the CF-98. Since the early 80s, China implemented a plan to modernize the country, to become an industrial might by using free market system but still maintaining central control. It's a balancing act that no communist country has ever embarked before. To become a superpower, they also realize they have to modernize their military. They have to wean themselves out of the Russian design and equipments. To do that, they need to do R&D and develop their own proprietary weapons. By the late 80s, they developed a new pistol round, the 5.8 by 21. The ammo was designed to penetrate body armor, and shortly thereafter, they produced a new pistol for that ammo. They call it QSZ-92. For export, they call it CF-98 in 9mm. 9mm is what their police force uses. It's been in service in China for over 25 years. That's a long time. They must be pretty happy with it. I found this pistol more interesting when I found out it's different than what I'm accustomed to, which is the John Browning design, the 1911 and the high power. This uses a rotating barrel lock. It's been said this system has a better accuracy because the barrel doesn't tilt down to unlock, but rather it rotates on its axis. Don't get me wrong, this system is not new. The first was the Roth Steyr in 1907, followed by a few other pistols. But after World War II, it fell out of favor. Till the 60s, a French company produced one, but it never quite caught on. Then in the 90s, several countries started to work on the concept again. But it was China and Italy was the first two to produce one, followed by Slovakia in 2002. And in 2004, Italy's Beretta introduced their second model, the PX4 Storm. And in 2017, Austria Glock announced Glock 46. Is this a trend? I wouldn't be surprised because I'm quite impressed with the system. So let's begin. Okay, I'm back. Now let's take a look what's in this box. And there it is. CF-98. It comes in a manual, a spare magazine, heavily oiled, cleaning rod, and it comes with a, uh, in a foam padded case. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now the reason why I bought this, um, we're in the fourth phase of, of the pandemic, and you watch the news, uh, there's a shortage of everything, uh, and the uh, inflation, hyperinflation, gasoline prices gone up, and uh, uh, meat prices gone up, uh, I go to a restaurant, the prices gone up, and there'll be a shortage, they say, this Christmas, so buy it while you can. Well, guess what? There's a shipment of this came into Canada, and not only that, it's at on sale. Normally, these sell for over three hundred dollars Canadian. I got it for mid two hundred Canadian. And if you could just deduct the spare mag, it's worth forty dollars. I actually got this for low two hundreds Canadian. I mean, it's a bargain. So that's the reason why I bought it. Okay. Now let's talk about the, uh, let's get this spec out of the way. The overall length is seven and a half inches. The barrel length is 4.4 inches. It weighs 26 ounces uh, on a uh, single action. The trigger pull is three and a half pounds. Okay, when I first heard this was made out of plastic, I automatically thought it was, everything was made out of plastic. That is not true. The uh, slide is mill steel and even the FCG, the fire control group, which extends into the pistol, this piece right here, is uh, stamped steel. But just the grip itself and the bottom of this uh, pad, uh, padded magazine is uh, plastic. Now, speaking about padded magazine, why this, uh, this shipment has padded magazine, the previous uh, shipment did not, uh, that's uh, an added feature. Now, why did they do that? Is that, uh, well, I don't really have big hands, okay? But even then, you see, I'm past the bottom. And I think that's the reason why they did it for comfort for, for the uh, North American ha hand, okay? 
So I think that's the good thing. It also helps. It, you don't really need it because once you press it, it jumps out. Okay, you don't need to grab it. Okay, so let's talk about the magazine while we got it out. Um, it's a double stack, single feed. Previous shipment was double stack, double feed. Now, double feed in a pistol is not common. It's quite common on SMG, but not on a pistol. So I think they did this is because it's probably more reliable when it comes to feeding. Okay, so I think that's what they did. They have three holes here to tell you how many rounds that's left. Um, 5, 10, 15. But in Canada, we are restricted to 10 rounds, so you'll never see 15. Okay, so it's uh, up to 10. Okay, the like, and the previous uh, uh, magazine, they had larger, they had the same indicator, indicators, but they're in, on the side and the larger. And uh, in... Um, and as you can tell, here's the magazine catch uh, uh, spots. It's ambidextrous. You can actually move this uh, magazine latch from the uh, left side to the right side. And I'll show you that later. Okay, so that's uh, the magazine. Now let's uh, carry on with the review. <clears throat> um, it is. Uh, it has. Let's talk. Let's start from the top. It has tritium sights, although as you can tell, there's there's two of them here in the back sight and one in the front sight. Although at night, <laughs> these weren't working. I couldn't see anything at all. So, um, but uh, you can tell it's there. Okay, it's supposed to help you, uh, you know, use this at night but these aren't lit for some reason okay in any case the manual says <clears throat> when you're coming to cleaning this do not soak this in gasoline or solvent so be careful when you're cleaning not to get uh, gasoline or solvent into this thing and the reason why is because apparently it's gonna I think it might shrink the tubes or something like that and might fall out so don't do that okay going, uh, going further down uh, this is a, a hammer type, exposed hammer, has ambidextrous uh, safety, as you can tell. Okay, uh, it comes in, the hammer comes in, uh, it's a double action. Okay, so you could actually pull the trigger, or it can also be a single action. Okay, and when you pull the single action, you can actually, I'm just going to hold the hammer, when you pull, it's only three and a half pounds. Okay, and I release the hammer. Okay, and it goes all the way forward. Uh, there's also another position they call it interlocking position, and that is uh, just pull the hammer to about this far, and it's about uh, the gap is about an eighth of an inch, or maybe about about three millimeter gap there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is single action. Yes, there's a fair amount of travel on the trigger, as you can tell. It goes all the way in. Now you can shoot from double action. This is all the way forward, and there's no travel on the trigger, and you can pull it. It goes all the way and comes forward. Okay, or you can actually move this hammer a bit with the trigger, get into that position, and therefore, but you'll have this extra travel, and then it'll be easier to fire from this position. <clears throat> okay, when the hammer is all the way forward, you cannot put this on safe. Okay, now you can cock it like normal. You just Grab the slide, put it all the way back, and if your mag is empty, it'll have the slide lock. And of course, you just uh, release it like normal, like normal pistol. Okay, and at this point, you can fire it as a single action, or you could uh, slip it into safe. And you're into uh, 
uh, about a half inch gap or eight millimeter gap right there. The finishing is nice. It's phosphate and uh, I like the uh, top part here. They got tiny little grooves to uh, reduce glare. That's a nice little feature there. Also, um, it has a rail in the front here for a proprietary uh, flashlight and uh, laser. And it has a nice star which signifies 9mm. And it has a lanyard uh, ring at the bottom here. And uh, because the, the, the grip is plastic, it's a bit top heavy, but you'll get used to it. And uh, that's uh, basically it for the review. So uh, thank you very much for joining me and please subscribe.